Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. There's about 20 more minutes in this week's trading session. So let's take a look at where we are and what might happen as we head into next week. So the Dow looks great, went from below the cloud earlier this week to above the cloud, looks as if it will close above the cloud. So perfect for a fresh long on Monday or Sunday night, depending on when you start trading. And as for targets, we totally took <laughs> took everything out to the high side, which is awesome. So let's get these things headed up. Mm, let's go just slightly above today's high from back in here. And then way up top, back there. As for the low side, it's a nice little bouncing off point right there. Kind of came up, back down, and then nice, nice bounce. This one can stay where it is as your target two to the short side, but that's way far away now because, like I said, we're above the cloud. Moving on to the S&P or the micro S&P, depending on which one you prefer to trade. Uh, just inside the cloud. Did make it out, but looks like it's going to end up back inside. <laughs> so not bad in terms of movement over the whole week, but just couldn't sustain those high marks from earlier today. So let's do this. Let's just use that actually as our next target to the high side because this is a pretty weak sauce little body and it's on the lower range of today's whole range. So we will use it to our advantage. That's again, a nice like bouncing off place came down hit and then took off from there. We'll bring this one way up also to here. Okay. That's the micro S and P the micro NASDAQ. This one was just in this little consolidation for the last few days and made the attempt to jump out of it and then came right back in <laughs> to this same little section. So we did, let's see, 18.352, the high, ooh, we were just shy of that, 18.348. So we didn't quite hit that target. That was the top of the cloud target. So we'll just keep that one as is, and then we'll raise this one up to, let's grab both of those wicks to there. And then we can flip flop these guys again, same situation, down, bounce off to there. And that one looks fine down there. Wrapping up the indexes with the Russell that had a pretty not so pleasant day today. Still stuck in the cloud. Decently sized red candle. We did take out this long, but then kind of were <laughs> playing within that vicinity. So let's do this. Let's go up here. That one can stay there. Uh, again, we'll flip-flop these, looking for our next target to the lower side, around 2051. However, it is still in the cloud, so you might just want to wait until it decides what it's doing and either goes down, out of the cloud to the low side, or to the high side if it goes up. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. These cryptos look pretty rough. <laughs> ETH is down 4.59% right now. Okay. Also in the cloud. So again, depending on your style of trading, you might just want to wait until something happens either way up or down. We can put this, I like this here. Let's move this one to that top little situation there and we'll keep the rest the same. Moving on to micro, e Ugh, this one looks really bad. <laughs> Well below the cloud, we took out that short target at 29.70, like without any problem, <laughs> heading down toward 28.23. Below the cloud, still a technical short. So let's do this. Let's bring this to here. That one can stay up there. We'll call those good if it turns itself around, but uh, it's not looking so hot right now. This will be target two to the short side after 28.23, then 27.13. Someone was asking recently about trading the micro bonds and notes. And while they don't technically have a micro for the bonds and notes, what they do have is the micro yield. So you can see a lot of these, the two-year, five-year, 10-year, and 30-year, those are all micro yield. The only one that even has enough volume to trade it, if you wanted something real small to trade, would be the 10-year. Totally stay away from the five. You can see it has zero 
30 has zero and the two has 54, which to my mind is not enough to get in and, you know, have a decent uh, bid ask spread. So we talked about gold yesterday in the Daily Rage video. I was talking about how it had a pretty solid day and it had this nice pullback, then flipped the parabolic SAR. And oh, by the way, if you would have taken that long, uh, today would have worked out real nice for you. <laughs> We crashed through both of these targets, which is awesome. And we will let's just let's just get crazy. I mean, it's gold. It's super, super volatile anyway. So why not? It can go up there. 2433 and 2448. As for the lower side targets, if it decides to go back down, we'll just flip those and call that good. 2311 and 2283. Let's take a look at silver now. Did not have such a nice day. But it, you know, did all right this week, had some pretty nice moves up. So we did take out those targets, which is great to the long side. I know a lot of you are not big silver traders. I myself am not either, but it is good to know what the markets are up to. We'll call it good there. This one is micro copper. Ooh, nice pop today. Okay, let's do this. Let's bring this one up. So again, we took out those targets. Congrats if you happen to be long the copper. Let's back this up a bit and see where we have come from higher up than that. And let's see, do I have any more data? <laughs> no, I do not. So I'll have to get some more data, but <laughs> for now, 4.7485. That's around the high of the day. And what we can do, though, is we can always take uh, 0.10 average true range. So if we were to just go slightly above that, like 0.1 would be 84-ish. We'll just call that target two. That's how you do it if you don't have the candles on your chart. Let's open this up again so we can see. As for the low side, all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip-flop these two, bring this one in a little tighter, call it good. That's a nice bounce, you know, up, down, found that trampoline and bounced off from there. To wrap this up, whoa, micro crude, not looking so hot, although much better than yesterday. Yesterday, just a doji, and then these few days before, just a whole lot of wicky candles, which is not my favorite thing to trade. So let's see what we are doing here. Let's go here. Let's go here. As for the high side, we'll go approximately today's high, followed by, love any of that. We'll go there. You could also use this standard line. You can see that this one is really, really close to where that turning line is. This one, if you wanted a little higher target, which it's now below the cloud, closing below the cloud, which indicates a new short. So who cares <laughs> about this stuff up here, at least right this second. Hope you had a great week and hope you have an amazing weekend ahead. I'm Mindy Kinnis. Thanks so much for watching.